Redfish Eye of N. Says hello. Visit us at Agona Swede Regana. Today we deal with how to turn off someone else's Bluetooth speaker. First, we need to find suitable devices in range. To do this, install Kali Linux and enter the command. As a result of this simple manipulation, you will receive a list of available Bluetooth devices from their MAC address. If your system does not see the Bluetooth adapter, then I recommend installing one of the Bluetooth managers for Linux. In Kali, GNOME Bluetooth came up to me personally, which can be installed with the following command. You can also use the Bloom and Utility. Having received a list of potential victims, you can deal with their Bluetooth devices in several ways. Let's consider each separately. Let's use this command. It will generate packets of the packet value size specified by you in the parameter and will send these packets to the MAC address recorded as the parameter. In the end, you will see this picture, in the terminal, the response time will gradually increase, and on the attacked device, most likely, Bluetooth will simply turn off. After a while, it will turn on anyway, but the music will be interrupted and some satisfaction will be gained. This scheme works very well when the attacked device for example, a phone is connected to a headset or speaker via Bluetooth. After the attack, these two devices will not be able to connect with each other. There is a more elegant and convenient way to drown out a speaker from which the cheerful sounds of rap are heard. Run the WebSploit utility. We type the command in the console. It will show us all the modules that work with this utility. There are many components that work with Wi-Fi, but we are specifically interested in the Bluetooth, Bluetooth underscore pod module. Now you need to configure all the settings and specify information about the device under attack. To accurately and reliably kill Bluetooth, we will change the size of the sent packet. All preparatory steps are completed, we can start our killing machine. At the output, we will see an absolutely similar picture, pings become longer, and the music is interrupted. The beauty. These two methods will work with almost any Bluetooth speakers, headsets, and other similar devices. Simply because manufacturers do not release new firmware for them that can filter incoming packets. So, if you have a laptop with Linux on board, you can definitely call yourself a thunderstorm of portable speakers. If the column copes with the attack, you can try to send packets to the phone itself to which it is connected. Personally, I tested this method on a fairly powerful portable speaker, JBL Extreme, and it more or less coped with the load. But such an attack cuts down cheap Chinese crafts at once. Curious goods are sold on the internet, among which you can find frequency jammers. They usually cost decent money and provide different opportunities. Some can bring down almost all mobile network signals, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth at once, while others will not cope with H+. If you think that you really need such a product, then before purchasing it, I strongly recommend that you familiarize yourself with the current legislation. In Ghana, it is not forbidden to buy and sell jammers, but if you decide to use it, then you need to register the device with the State Committee for Radio Frequencies. If you are caught using an unregistered device, you will most likely be fined under Article 13.4 of the Code of Administrative Offenses of Ghana. The fine for individuals today is 500 Ghana CDs, for legal entities, up to 10,000. As we already know, primitive speakers and headsets almost never filter the packets we send to them. But what happens if you send such a device not just a packet with data to check the connection, ping? but a packet with a request to connect to the device. And not alone. Not all manufacturers of such headsets have taken care of buffer overflow protection. If all packets are queued, then what happens when there is nowhere to store requests? The column will try to execute the command and clear the buffer in the process. Therefore, we use the standard Bluetooth communication protocol. But since the protocol control utility itself will not allow us to send a thousand such requests, we will write a small Python script that automates the process. Before running the script, we need to know the MAC address of the device. To do this, we use the already familiar command tool scan. And insert the received address into the script instead of MAC address. Now save the script and run it. Whether the script will work or not depends on the model of the attack device, or rather, on the buffer filling rate. If the buffer has time to fill up before it is cleared, then the command will be executed, and then we will connect to the column at the same time as the main user. If the buffer is cleared, then nothing will work and you will have to restart the script. If our script is successfully executed, we can arrange our own disco or cut down the device. My personal experiments with the JBL Extreme speaker led to its shutdown, but the JBL Flip 2 once managed to intercept, now it is not at hand. 
Thank you for listening. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share. Redfish I of N.